and now it's time for our tale of the tape for the main event of the evening, Virgil Ortiz Jr. He is perfect, 15 wins, 15 knockouts at the age of 22, but Vargas promises to be his toughest test ever. Right hand moves Vargas back, although it did seem to hit his gloves. When you've got power like Ortiz Jr., just you're just one punch away. You can see the power even when he misses in Ortiz. He, he rotates and torques his entire waist and torso. It's a beautiful miss is what it is. And Vargas knew how strong of a puncher Ortiz Jr. is. He goes, listen, this guy's going to put on probably 20 pounds after the weigh-in. He's going to be a big boy. I've just got to work him to the body, stay in the fight to the late rounds, and then put him away as he eats a right hand and now a jab. Look at that. Vargas with his hands up, and he's still getting rocked by those shots. They're blocked shots, but they're still effective. That's why I always say when, when fighters keep their, their gloves up, it may look like they're blocked, but they're still, they're still doing damage. They're still feeling them. And Vargas, you can see by the reddening in his face and the reaction, how he's looking, that even though he's getting blocked, they hurt. You talked about angles. You saw one there from Ortiz Jr. Ortiz is looking for a counter right over a lazy jab of Vargas. You can see it by, by the way he's uh, getting on the back foot. Vargas continuing to go downstairs. One hand, stop, 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 stop. You see what I'm saying? I waited. Okay, but no, but he's got his back to you. You can't spin him around and then wait. He's got no, his back I waited. To you. It's, not, it's not your point. You can't spin him. You understand? I, All right, Fox. I, I, I got to say, Todd, corner. I got to say, Todd, I, I love and respect Jack Reese, but yes, he can turn him around. That's a beautiful pivot. I love that. I love that move by Virgil Ortiz. Some would say he shouldn't have warned Ortiz Jr. He should have warned Vargas for turning his back. I would love to see Ortiz do that again. That's a beautiful angle. You can't use your hands to maneuver and, and, and do it, but if you could do it with your feet, that's beautiful. Ortiz Jr., a seven-time national amateur champion, won gold at the 2013 Junior Olympics. And he's firing away now. Vargas stumbles backwards. Here comes the pain. Ortiz Jr., right hand, and Vargas right, wobbles. Stop, 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 stop. It was a chopping right go. hand to the left side of I'll Vargas' go, temple that started the uh, onslaught. <laughs> and there's that chopping right hand again. Vargas better be careful not dipping to that same side. Yeah, Vargas can't afford to trade shot for shot. Nice little shoulder roll by uh, Vargas right there. There it is again. It's a slight little shoulder roll, and he comes back like James Tony with a little sneaky uppercut to the body. Samuel Vargas does. Good uppercut for Vargas. And there it is again. He, he already caught on to the right hand of Ortiz. Ortiz should concentrate on left hook or a body shot right here. And remember, it was Vargas that told us that he said Virgil Ortiz struggled to make weight. So if that's the case, this is where Virgil Ortiz should be. <laughs> Losing strength and speed and, and, and all that. Vargas having a laugh, but he's not smiling now as the 22-year-old starts to unload. Catching him with a left hand and now a right. And down goes Vargas, and he takes Ortiz Jr. with him. Vargas with down, Vargas tackling hey, Ortiz right there with the shark. You wasted That's... time tackling. Don't do that again. You understand? Yeah, that. The bullshit. Box. That's a veteran move by a vet veteran right there. Jack Reese calling BS on Vargas. Stop, stop, stop. Let him go. Box. Vargas still not right. Oh, a big lead uppercut. You saw blood come shooting out of Vargas's mouth. I can see Samuel Vargas. Bones Adams and Bet Vargas' corner stopping this fight. He's taking too much punishment here. 
Well, he knew he'd have to take the punishment, Sergio. No, but this is too much. Get out. Doc. Jack Reese doing the right thing right now, already calling the doctor. There's too much oh, punishment right here, Ty. Nice right hand to the body. This could be the beginning of the end for Samuel Vargas. Under a minute to go in round seven. But Vargas still talking trash. He said, come on, hit me. And they don't make that. That's as tough as they make him, Samuel Vargas. That's a big shot. Oh, and then downstairs, too. And this is not where Vargas wants to be, backed up against the ropes. And Jack Reese is giving him an opportunity just because he's so tough and determined, Vargas is. But that's way too much punishment. Let him go. Let him go. Fox. Stop at the bell. Oh. Stop, stop, stop this fight. Stop, stop this enough. fight. I'm Come sorry, on. bro. Taking a beat in these last couple rounds, bro. I've seen enough. And sorry. Jack oh. Reese has indeed into this contest. It was the right call by Jack Reese at the right time because Vargas was not going to give up. They don't make him like Vargas, man. This is old school toughness right there. He wasn't going anywhere. And if Bones Adams wasn't going to stop this fight, Jack Reese would. 16 and 0 with 16 knockouts. Virgil Ortiz Jr. has done it again. But credit to Vargas, who took him further than anyone else had. Ladies and gentlemen, from here at the Fantasy Springs Resort Casino, the official time comes to you at this end, 2.58, round number seven. For your winner by KO, and still undefeated, the reigning WBA gold welterweight champion, the fighting pride of Grand Prairie, Texas, the phenomenal Virgil Ortiz Jr.